Uh, the sure. first thing that I really wanted to talk about is because I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. The British Virgin Islands are reopening for tourism in December. That is big news. And, and you know, for everybody that knows, uh, considering a uh, coronavirus and uh, the the quarantine, uh, mm -hmm. different countries have been shut down and uh, the British Virgin Islands um, has been uh, at least out of the reach of Americans for what about five months now, Lisa, four or five yeah. months. So it's great to see that they're opening back up. And uh, you know, what's great too, is a lot of things around the British Virgin Islands have been opening back up as they've been yeah. kind of progressing. I, I know that there's some of uh, p some of the people's favorite spots are starting to, uh, to open back up here in the near future too. So there's gonna be a lot more places that you can go when you get there. Um, but you know, even at the very least, just being there, looking at that that mm -hmm. image right there, uh, I don't think I need anything open. I just need to be there on a <laughs> you know like power catamaran, moored off or something, uh, good to go. Oh yes, and you know what? That the community down there they rely heavily on the tourism industry, so they really yep. need us to get back down there and and interact with those folks. And you know who wouldn't love a vacation in the British Virgin Islands, especially as we go into the winter months when it's. Mm -hmm getting a little cooler up in the north and uh it still is nice and and sunny and beautiful down in the bbis yeah and uh this kind of this that image right there kind of tells the story too that's a marie max vacations boat uh uh looks like mm -hmm. hmm, 44 48 i can't tell it's a little bit it's far away but that just shows how open it is and you know if you're kind of a uh, relatively new to boating you don't really have to uh worry too much um and also line of sight is so easy down there so you mm -hmm. always kind of know where you're going i mean there's there's a bunch of islands to choose from and it's just extremely easy to get to any of them uh relatively quickly uh you know you can make an afternoon and go see three islands i think one time we were on the 36 we hit like five islands in one day, you know, five, oh uh, like just gunning to the different spots and, and spending about an hour at each one. So, I mean, it's oh, doable. Oh, absolutely. And uh, so one of the really interesting facts that I read in this article is even amid the pandemic, the BVI has been seeing strong investment in its real estate market. Yeah. Um, Oil Nut Bay is reporting more than $20 million in real estate sales since the beginning of the global crisis. So it's people crazy. not only have been investing in boats, but it sounds like they've been investing in some staycation properties in the BVI. Well, I, I, if you see that image, that's like uh, paradise upon paradise upon paradise upon open ocean out there too. <laughs> right. And that could be your view. I mean, if you, if you want to, you know, uh, find a place to, to live part time uh, at Oil Nut Bay and then the rest of the time just rent it out and, you know, go back yeah. to your, your other location somewhere in the States or elsewhere. <laughs> my cardboard box that I live in because I spent all my money <laughs> moving to the BVIs. Hey, but I, I, I'm sure it's always going to be rented out though. Somebody's always going to want to go down there. Oh yeah. And you know, uh, for everyone listening, if you're interested in, if you've never been to the British Virgin Islands before, Marine mm -hmm. Max has a vacations division. You yep. can charter a catamaran for four, five, six, 12, 10 days, whatever you, you want. And they can help you plan a nice route where you can go from island to island and just kind of explore because there's there's a lot to do, although it's you know an island chain. Yep. There's snorkeling, there's scuba diving, you can kayak, you can fish, you can just chill by the pool, you can go to a nightclub. Um yep. the the town or the little towns and areas are so uh, unique that popping around from island to island is is just so much fun. Yeah, it's, Kelly, it's what are your favorite places down there? Um, let's see here. Uh, Oil Nut Bay is definitely is one of them. If you, if you get an opportunity to go to Oil Nut Bay, I definitely recommend it. Also, um, just basically anywhere on Virgin Gordo, you got the baths there. You have uh, yeah. a lot of cool places. I'm trying to think of what the, it was like hogs heaven up at, oh, um, yes. somewhere in North sound. I'm trying to think of what it is, but I uh, want to say Leverick Bay. maybe. Yeah, it is. It's you go to Leverick Bay, which is in, I believe North sound. And then you, you ask one of the cab drivers to bring you up and you literally drive up a mountain to get there. And it's like yep. a, you know, it's like a, a barbecue shop at the top of the mountain and you're just overlooking the entire North Sound area. And it's just a, a cool place to check out for sure. I just got goosebumps just from you describing <laughs> that because I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. I have and been there as well. And it's it an amazing experience. I really love the Soggy Dollar. 
everybody's got to check out soggy dollar um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i mean if, if you get down there you have to check out soggy dollar and and just kind of walk up and down that beach there's a bunch of bars there and mm-hmm. if you want to check out you know whenever you get a chance just go to youtube and type in soggy dollar webcam or something i think uh-huh. and they live stream just whenever just live so you can what see looks like. what's happening yeah you can see uh hey is yeah. there anybody out there and uh, you know, during the the uh, quarantine, uh, there's it was kind of a, obviously light on people, so you're just looking out at the beautiful uh, British Virgin Islands. You know, it's wow. it's pretty crazy. That is crazy. That's amazing. All right. Yeah. Well, the BVIs are open. Uh, make your make your uh, appointments for next year. For sure. I'm hoping to maybe get my family down there. We'll see. Yeah. And if, you know, uh, you have a lot of options, if you want to, um, you know, you got a Aquila 36, Aquila 44, Aquila 48, I think the new Aquila 54 possibly next year will be out too down there. Those are power um, catamarans people. Yes. Power catamarans, of course, which is, uh, in, in my opinion, I think the best way to get around the islands for yes. sure. Um, don't have to worry about things. It's, it's li- literally like you're in a hotel room when you wake up in the, uh-huh. in the morning and like the AC's on if you need it. And then you wake up and you go just jump off your boat to wake up a little bit. That's, that's the way to do it.